what you know, we talk about how we read from a file. And as you expected, we require to create our own files through our C applications. So, first of all, we'll talk about FOC. The FOC function allows a single character to be written to a file, like uh, car CHA and file uh, are the right file pointers. It will create a new file called as disputum.txt. As you can see, now we are using uh, W instead of R. And at the end, we are putting our characters into our file. But you should be careful about it because we are putting only a single file, a single character. Uh, if you try to put a string, for example, it will uh, not uh, compile our command. So let's try this one. Now let's create another project called as file for zero. Uh, zero for sorry, as a console application. My pointer is right file and it will create a file called this student.txt. Then I will see that file uh, actually I will see in my folder. This is the folder that I'm creating my uh, C project under the C plus plus. So let me change the list details into details. So let's save and execute. I can't, I cannot see anything because I'm not pointing out anything on my console. So let's see what happened at the end. As you can see, student.txt has been created and my character has been included inside of this file accordingly. A simple structure. A puts function actually puts a complicated structure, uh, such as a sentence or a record inside. In here, we have two records, Ali and Aisu. Uh, he had 82 and she had 97. So let's try to put this into my student.txt file. So again, I will create another file uh, project, sorry. File 05, console application. Yes, yes, and another yes. I want to keep my previous file, so I am naming it as student1.txt. So let's compile and run. And to be able to see the results, later I will open this file again and print out everything in my screen, on my screen, or I will check my file explorer and student one is already created. As you can see, my records are already included accordingly. A simple way of execution, actually. But let's continue a little bit with the file printer. File, the file printer or a printer function is used to write to a file in the form of its structure. In here, as you can see, I'm defining a read file.txt. Then I will write uh, the content. Actually, I'm changing the places of the uh, grade and the name. And I write it down into the write file.txt. I have a 
shipping and I have the uh, great value. In here, I have two pointers. Uh, first one is opening the file uh, for, and the other one is writing for the file. And I read the file, as you can see, through the FSCANF. I am storing this information, the string value uh, uh, as the name. Sorry, guys, I should fix it, name. And the great information as the number. And when I try to store it, I am changing the places accordingly. For this perspective, it will read only a single uh, record. So uh, instead of using the read file, I will use the student one txt for this purpose. And because I am just using uh, a single call, a single expanded call, it will only read just a single record. So let's copy this. And let's create another project, another console, console application for this file 06. Just pasting the information, and I should format this. I will use the student one, so I am changing it into the. I don't need to require to uh, give a specific place because this is the root of my hard disk, so I should not use it. But I will use in the same. Uh, structure. So, student one, then I will write down into the student two. Name, number, and I will left the rest as it is. I will just uh, see the places of name and uh, no. I'm using for grading. So let's compile and run, and hopefully it will work. As you can see, nothing to print out again. But at the end, on my main folder, the student.txt has been created. Student1 has Ali uh, 82. So what I expect, student2 uh, will start at 82 then a blank space, then to store the value of Ali as it is. So it worked perfectly without any problem. Guys, I know uh, I'm just copying and pasting, but I advise you to try to write down everything uh, with your knowledge. If you cannot do that, uh, you can just try to write down by looking at my code. Then you can try to do it without looking Otherwise, uh, this knowledge cannot be easily become a implicit knowledge of yourself. So try to work out to understand uh, this structure. But again, we are using the previously explained parts. In here, a printf, just write down based on my structure. First of all, it will print it out uh, on a file as a integer value, then you can print it out a string value accordingly. So I change the places based on my structure. And in this application, I will write down uh, student grades. Uh, however, if it's an exemplary structure, but I have, I need to read two midterms and one final grade. And at that, it will calculate uh, the value accordingly. Then, uh, based on this file, it will print it out 
the values, the final values as the final GPU of each student. So first of all, to be able to execute it, I need to create another file to support name, uh, one micron, uh, first micron, second micron, and the final grades. So let's come here and create another file called as Uh, why I'm not getting new because it is still on the source screen. If I delete this, probably I will get rid of this screen. Yes. So I'm including a new text document called this student three. Now I'm entering some values, moon, 25, 50, and 75. First, we second, we turn and final exam. And John, 100, 100, and the final exam. Tom, 75, 75, and 80, and Tim. 70, 90, and 100. And for the Thomas, 84, 84, and 84. That's it. I will copy this code again. By creating a new project. As usual, file zero seven. And I need to put them in order. So middle one, middle two, final and term average. I can enter character. First file pointer for reading the file and second one for writing the file. I'm using students three for my purposes and I will write down to student four dot txt. In here, as you can see, to read from beginning to end, I am using a while structure. And as you can see, as long as I have some value as a result of a scanning uh, function, I will understand that. I will not reach the end of the file. And when I reach that out, I will quit from the value itself. So this is a spatial implementation and a well-known perspective to execute this code. As long as I read it, I will calculate the term average. And it can with writing down the name Will include the name with the term average accordingly, and I'm closing the related f opens with calling the related pointers. So, hopefully, that's it. Let's try to execute the code. Sorry, hi 07.c. And it went again. I cannot see anything. But based on my structures, I forget to remove them. Sorry, guys. As you can see, student four is integrated. And as you can see, we have calculated the GPA of that term for each student without any problem because we read it accordingly. And as you can see, we are not storing the uh, column values such as name, return one, return two, and uh, the final. Just keeping the records is enough. And if you want, uh, you can create your own file structures like that without any hesitation. 
And guys, uh, we have only uh, some of the theoretical parts today, and uh, we did lots of things, a little bit reading and writing files in C programming language, but uh, in the third video relating with the uh, C file operations, we will continue. So please try to watch the remaining part. See you guys with the next video.